This rose has got to be good. Looks good. Mmm. Mmm. It is good, I guarantee you that. Ha! Mm, I'll just try some more. How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. And we've got a beautiful roast we're gonna cook for you today. And we're gonna make a picnic potato salad after I finally get this roast in that oven there. And the, this is a barbecued roast. The way we're gonna cook this, we started off at 350 degrees for one hour. And then we turn it off and turn it down to 200 degree for eight hours. It's, cook it overnight if you want to, cook it until this afternoon, but eight hours, and it comes out just like it's barbecued, and I'll show you why in just a few minutes. I, I first got to stuff that devil with garlic. <laughs> and garlic is so good, and I love it. I make a garlic sandwich every now and then. It's pretty good. <laughs> hey, y'all, today we're going to learn a few good cooking skills from a legend, Mr. Justin Wilson. So here we go, y'all. Sit back and enjoy. You ain't seen cooking like this, I guarantee you. We're we'll stuffing with garlic, green onion, and cayenne peppers. And I want you to know, it never gets too hot. It cooks all that hot out. None of it's in there left in there. First of all, I take this knife and make a little hole right here. Enough for me to hold, for that hole to hold. One little old clove of garlic. Put that down in there real good. A green onion. Put that in there like that. Come here to me, knife. Cut it off right there. Then stuff this other side where the garlic is with this pepper. Go down in there. How you going, boy? <clears throat> Man, that smells good already. I guarantee. Let me put another one right in here. Come here, you nice clove of garlic. The garlic smells good, you know it? We put the rest of this green onion down in there. Get this garlic out of the way. Get out of the way, boy. Now you go. Trim this off the way it looked pretty. Come over there. Now to put this rest of this, this hot pepper right down in here with them. It'll be close to where his brother is on this other one there. Get on in there. Oh, now he's going. We just cut the top off. Thought of wood in here. Toughest pepper I ever saw. <laughs> Put another one right here. Nice deep hole, but it's nice smelly. Smell like garlic. It is garlic. It better smell like. <laughs> Green onion. You didn't have to go all the way down there, you know. There's other people got things to do here, too. Another pepper. Oh, that pepper. He thought I'm not going to put it in here, and I'm not. There you go. Tough pepper. I'll tell you that for true. Another hole right And This is a 20-pound roast, my friend. When I say 20 pounds, I mean just exactly 20 pounds. I had to argue with that butcher over a half a pound there once. Come on, garlic. You might just well give up. I'm going to put you down in there. You're kind of small, so I put two. Get down in there. Mm-hmm. Green onion. Right by the side of that garlic. Cut it off, make it look pretty. Come here. You thought you were going to be lost, but you're not? No. Get on in there. <laughs> A 
right shear, let's cut it this way this time. Mm hmm. Ah, garlic. Put it down in there, yeah, hey, hey. Green onion, down in there on the side. Get down in there and quit arguing. Go in there. Hot pepper. What it says put in here, hot pepper. Save you for the last hold I'm gonna put in this little old roast. It's just 20 pounds. Now, put that there like that. Give me garlic. Kind of small, so I'll put two in there just to be sure I didn't, didn't miss anything. Now, on your own, go down in there. All the way. Put this little old garlic, this old hot pepper down in there. Make him feel good. Could have got down in there real good. Now, got that done. Put this up here like this. Wipe my hand on my little dish towel that I carry in my dangarees. Now, in here, you either put peanut oil or olive oil. I, I like olive oil, and I know it's good for you. And I'm going to put olive oil in there, just enough to keep it from burning. And it, it doesn't take a great deal. You don't measure this. You just put it down here until you've got enough sense to stop. <laughs> in other words, you cover the bottom of your pot with either olive oil or peanut oil. That actually is about, I would say, two tablespoons full of, full of olive oil. <laughs> that's about all, I hear you laugh, but that's true, yeah. <laughs> now, onto this, I got to put some salt and red pepper. We know how to do that. Salt. I'm measuring that very carefully with my eyeball. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that part. Now, I don't rub that in, I pat it. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man, yeah. <laughs> that should be enough, enough oil, enough of salt for that. And then cayenne pepper. I'm gonna pat that too. And I hope my eyes don't itch. And that looks like a lot of cayenne pepper. Yeah. It is, but it's not too much, believe me. Good stuff. Now, cayenne pepper, is good for you. Black pepper is wood, believe, did you know that? That's true, wood. And I don't use black pepper to cook with, I love the taste of it. I just don't use it to cook with because I know that it's indigestible. Now I got to wipe that off and I hate to put it on here, but now I'm gonna put it on this dish towel right here. So I won't be having it on my towel and forget to put that up on my eyeballs. And that's bad. Come over there, gotcha. Most of you anyhow. Now, I'm going to put this in here so that I won't be bothered with it being in my way. I've got two little forks that I use for things like this. Little fellas, you know. Go down in there. And what we want to do is just pick you up real easy. Easy to do with my hand, but I don't want to be insanitary, you know. You know, no such word as, as unsanitary. What are you doing in there, boy? In the wrong place? Now, God. now let's us just go in this pot like a little gentleman. You know that's heavy? Ooh, ah, come out of that. <clears throat> now, thank you. I'm going to put these right here on this deal because I'm going to move. What I'm going to do, though, I'm, I'm not going to throw this garlic away. I'm just going to put it down in there. I'm going to put a little juice in there. 
make it taste a little more better, you know, no question about that. Get these peppers out of my way, these onion out of my way, and this thing right here, I'm gonna put it over somewhere out of my way, I got to. The man in the world, I'd hate like the devil to drop that with something on it, you know, particularly on my feet, my poor old feet, you know. Go over here. Got it. Now, I'm gonna mix a little something in here. This is two cups of dry white wine, tasty white wine, I'll tell you that. Don't ever cook with a wine that you won't drink. And this is liquid smoke. This is hickory, hickory smoke. I'm gonna put a teaspoonful in this. Don't want to put any more than that because look, this stuff is strong. Strong, strong. Whoo, boy. Get this out of my way. I got to move this so I can read and be sure I got everything. Got them? Pounder? Yep, yep, yep. Now, everything's in there except this, and I'm going to stir that with my tasting spoon. I'm not going to pour it on that roast, no. I'm going to pour it around it. Use that tasting spoon to taste that a little later myself. It's going to be good. Get all this out of my way. Put this little knife over here where I won't cut myself. But I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven for one hour. Now this is, e this is easy cooking, easy barbecuing. It's a lot cooler in here than it is outside, I can tell you that. Let me see how much you weigh. You don't weigh too much, I'm going to put you in that oven right now. Here we go. That oven, 350 degrees, I'll tell you that for true. Come on here, boy. Let us go over here and put this in that oven like you know what you're doing, whether you do or not. Three and now cook good there, boy, because you look so nice. I snuck on y'all. I cooked it ahead of time and fixed it. I'm going to go taste it. See what it tastes like. See if it's fit to eat. If it is, you'll all get a taste. And my nose is just athletic, running all the time. <laughs> Sit myself down here like I know what I'm doing. Broke my chair, but not where it's needed. It's needed where I sat. This roast has got to be good. Looks good. Mmm, mmm, it is good, I guarantee you that. Ha.